Hello and welcome to this tutorial on the facial nerve. We're going to be looking at the issues surrounding the facial nerve in the corticobulbar tract. It's often the cause of some confusion because it is an exception to the rule of the normal bilateral innervation. So let's have a look at uh, what we're going to tackle. First of all, we're going to deal with the actual connection, so the anatomy, and then we're going to have a look at what happens when there's a lesion and hopefully um, try and explain why we get the symptoms that we do. So, without further ado, here is a diagram which is going to represent the cortex on each side. Now I'm going to label this as the primary motor cortex, of course, many of you will know that it's not just the primary motor cortex that serves the corticobulbar tract, but um, just for simplification I think we're going to keep it like that today. Going to draw a midline on like this and down here we're going to draw on a face and this guy is going to be smiling i'm not sure why because he's going to have a facial nerve lesion in a moment we're going to keep him without hair because that best reflects myself and we're going to pop on the facial nerve nuclei up here like this so we've got our cortex at the top we've got our face there we're going to draw on label these nuclei so this is the upper facial nucleus and this is going to be the lower facial nucleus and of course that's the same on the other side as well. So we can now start to draw on the innovations from the cortex, these upper motor neurons. So the upper motor neuron that goes to the upper facial nucleus is going to be bilateral from each side. We draw that on and we'll just complete one side first so we'll change colour to this grey and the innovation in here to the lower one. We'll just draw that round there to try and make the diagram a bit clearer. We've got a single contralateral innovation to the lower facial nucleus. Now we need to repeat that on the other side. So here we go, we're gonna have an innovation, a bilateral innovation to the upper motor nucleus and a single contralateral innovation. So we're gonna go round here like that. Hopefully that still is uh, visible. So that's our innovation from the upper motor neurons. We now need to draw on the innovation from the lower motor neurons. The lower motor neurons are the facial nerve themselves. So we're going to get a nerve leaving the upper facial nerve nucleus serving the upper quadrant of the face on the ipsilateral side. We're also going to get a neuron leaving the lower facial nucleus serving the lower quadrant of the face on the ipsilateral side. And the same goes for the other side, so we can draw that on as well. There's one there, and there is one in there as well. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at what happens when we get a lesion. So we're gonna draw our lesion on, and let's say that we get a lesion somewhere across there like that. We can actually just draw that on and then we can start to have a look at what problems might occur. So first of all, we need to have a look at the kind of neurons that are taken out. So the neuron that's gonna be taken out is gonna be this one, which means that we're gonna lose this one in here and we're gonna lose this one in here. But we are gonna have a backup in here from the other side, making this neuron in here, this green one to the upper part of the face on this side, that's going to be fine. Seeing as we've got this knocked out here, we also have a backup here, so this one's going to be fine as well. So both of the upper quadrants of the face have a backup, so that's, that's fine, there's no problems there. Now on the other side, so if we follow this one down here, this wasn't affected at all, so that should still be good, which means that the contralateral side of the face there is going to be fine. And so the problem then remains really because our lesion is in here, so this is where our lesion is, means that this one is going to be knocked out and that means we have a big problem over here. Because we don't have any backup for this region of the face in here, we don't have any backup this region of the face. So this is the lower compartment of the face on the contralateral side of the lesion. 
and that's where we're going to find symptoms if we have a stroke the most probable explanation for a lesion or damage to the upper motor neuron and that's going to cause an impact on the contralateral side the issue is going to be a problem with sagging of the face and saliva dripping out the corner of the mouth but the upper part of the face and everywhere else is going to be spared so that is what happens when we get a lesion of the facial upper facial nerve nucleus or fibers subscribe to Sultan Brain Hub for more videos to help explain the mysteries of the brain